back to Monte Cristo. Today we're gonna make banana pancakes because once again, I bought too many bananas. So we are going to mash that joker up and we're gonna see about making some banana pancakes. So we're gonna try them three different ways. We're gonna do a bananas foster pancake. We're going to do a plain pancake and we're going to do a peanut butter and chocolate sauce pancake. Mmm, sounds delicious. We have one and a half cups of self-rising flour about three quarters of a cup of milk, a tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a couple of very ripe bananas, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and one egg. First, I'll mash my bananas with a fork. We'll whisk our egg. Give it just a little to start. and I'm only gonna put about a half a cup and we'll see if we need any more. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Half a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. self-rising flour. whether or not we need any more milk. You know, it depends on how moist your bananas are and how, run, how big they are. Because if you have runny pancakes, they aren't very fluffy. Since I'm fairly fond of butter, I'm going to go ahead and put a little butter on the griddle just to make sure we don't have any sticking going on. We'll do about a quarter cup measurement for each pancake. I'm going to spread it out because it's thick. Now that the pancakes are cooked, we'll go ahead and do that bananas foster topping. Mm, that'll be so good. All we need for the bananas foster topping, because this is breakfast after all, we're not gonna add banana liqueur and rum to it, but we're gonna do two tablespoons of dark brown sugar and two tablespoons of butter and one banana. So you've got two tablespoons of brown sugar melted in two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna add our banana. We'll let it 
because it's soft. It's kind of syrupy. Two, three minutes. I'll cook a few more minutes in the sugar without the heat. We said we were going to do banana pancakes three ways, and that's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna try a couple of them with bananas foster. Oh, thank you. Mm -mm. Can't stop. Mm. Awesome. For our next topping, we're going to use chocolate chip morsels and peanut butter morsels, and I'm gonna melt them in the microwave 30 seconds at a time until they get melted. All right, so now they've been melted. I've got my peanut butter over here, and I've got my chocolate over here, and I'm gonna put them in Ziploc bags so I can control them a little better and not tear up the pancakes when I spread them. I'm gonna put a little bit of peanut butter in this one. Kind of fold it over so I can get all over the outside. This bag, and then we'll just squeeze it on there. And then chocolate. I mean, really, how could you go wrong? You can tell I like peanut butter more than I like chocolate. All right. This way with this one. That's a pretty good looking pancake. I don't know if anybody could turn that down. And of course, what's wrong with that? Yum! Now that's a good pancake. I guess I should admit to eating some of these while the camera was turned off. My gosh. <laughs> If you like Reese cups or if you like just peanut butter and chocolate, this is really good. I really liked it. I mean, you could do this with anything, any kind of pancakes. It wouldn't have to be banana pancakes. This is delicious. Mmm. I mean, it is delicious. Look at all that peanut buttery, chocolatey goodness. Mmm. Ah. That's so good. Mmm. Excuse me. We're gonna do our plain pancakes now. The ones that sometimes that's all you have time for. I'm already melted my butter. And then we've got some maple syrup. And 
I mean, that looks pretty good. They may be plain, but they still are delicious. Nothing can beat old fashioned. That's a pretty good pancake. I gotta say. Even just, excuse me. Even with just butter and syrup, it's still a really good pancake. Gotta try these. Please subscribe below and hit that notifications bell so you'll always know when we've got a new video coming out. Thanks for coming. Bye.